Hi friends, it's Dino the Handyman here and you're in the Handyman Zone. Today we're going to do a crazy handyman hack and that involves empty aerosol cans where there's still some chemicals in them, some spray paint, whatever, but there's no more pressure in them so they're just not even squirting. I tell you I take care of that, it's real easy. It helps if you have just a couple of things like compressor, blowgun nozzle, but you could get away with a service station pump, a little uh, portable tank fill up at the service station and bring home and uh, let's get right down to it. What I've got here is an old air compressor. Got up to about 60 PSI in the uh, in the big tank. But alternatively, you could, you know, if you had like one of these portable tanks, you could take it to the service station and fill it up and bring it back home and do the same trick. Because you don't need a lot of air. I mean, that's a huge thing. I, I'm only going to need maybe half a cubic foot. On my hose, instead of the air chuck, I got what they call the blow gun, which blows air out of the end here. And I've got the little uh, schnozzel attachment on there to give it even uh, more narrow it down. Now I've got a, an assortment of aerosols here. It could be anything from like a wood dust, uh, a wood wax, to uh, uh, lubricant, to spray paint, uh, whatever. We got all kinds of bug killer and stuff. The one I'm concerned about today, because this one is almost empty, is this brake cleaner stuff. And as you can see, I mean, it's supposed to come out really powerful and good, but it's just kind of like squirting out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is turn the can upside down. There's a little bit of pressure gas left in there. I turn the can upside down because there's a uh, tube inside the can that goes to the bottom to feed that, that stuff we just squirted out. What I wanna do is empty all the pressure out that's left, but I don't wanna waste any of my product. So I turn it upside down, the tube is now, there's probably about that much product in there, I can feel it. So the tube is now up where there's no product. I'm just gonna, see, now it's just gas coming out until it's neutralized itself with the atmosphere. I'm gonna take my blow gun here. What I'm gonna do is line it up with that hole. Yeah. See that? Look at that, that's exactly what I wanted. Now it would have been nice having a little piece of rubber hose, like a little carburetor vacuum line hose or something to go over the end of our blower, uh, blow gun, make a better seal, but I looked around and I couldn't find anything. So we did it without, okay? And we just held it right up against the, the schnipple nozzle of that can. We just held it right up in that little, in that little spray hole there, okay? And as we pushed this down, we charged it with air and we let go of both at the same time. Now I gotta, uh, can use the rest of that chemical that I paid for in the can all the way down until it's nothing. Even if it sits around for another year and it loses its pressure again, I can, I can re-up on it. Hope I helped you out with that crazy handyman hack. I'm Dino the Handyman. Desperately need all the attention, the attention, the attention, the attention, the attention, the attention I can get. So my crazy YouTube friends, thanks for watching. If you like the crazy aerosol can hack, share the video on your social media. Subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. Use the comment box below for any questions or comments. Let's see you later, friends.